Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a modern, softer, pretty version of a page boy. So let's get started. Page boy to me is one of these classic haircuts that was very, very popular in the, the late 60s, early 70s. And it's very, very blunt and very, very solid. And to me, I never thought that it looked good. I never thought it was very appealing. But that's just my own aesthetic. Oh, I should, I should take that back. The only people that I think the Page Boy looked good on were the Ramones. I thought the Ramones wore it very, very well. And so my challenge today is how do I take this haircut that I don't necessarily have an affinity for because I feel like it's just this blunt kind of mass mushroom of a shape. And how do I make that pretty? So I think the way that I modernize it and make it pretty and is to make it softer because the, the classic page boy is very, very blunt all the way around. Everything's cut at zero elevation. It's very, very solid kind of halo bowl cut mushroom shape. So I'm gonna try to soften it up using my feather styling razor and also my feather plie razor to create some internal texture. So the way I'm gonna start is I'm gonna comb a center section straight down. I'm gonna judge where I want my, my overall length to be and I want something a little longer than the hairline but not so much that it's starting to hit the shoulders and flip out. And then I'm gonna hold everything down and I'll take a fairly short stroke and just go straight across and cut that all one length. Here I don't wanna pull this back I'm going to keep her head kind of straight forward. I'm going to comb this straight down and natural fall. Work that line all the way around, trying to use the same razor stroke that I was using earlier. To make this a little bit more solid through here, I'm going to use my Tokyo scissors. These are the five and a half inch ones. I'm going to come underneath. Comb that down, zero elevation, and just go through and blunt that line up just a little bit. Cut some of that graduation off underneath on the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to go through and separate the front of the head from the back of the head. I'll find the high point of the head, bring that straight down to the top of the ear, and now I'll go through and take my next section, keep that parallel to my previously cut section, Follow my previously cut guide and cut that all blunt one length. Everything's getting combed straight down to the floor. And just continue this until I run out of hair. All right, so we got the whole back finished. Now we're gonna work into the sides. Take my first little flat section where the comb lays flat against the head, and I'm gonna angle that all the way back and to the mastoid. And the reason I'm going back to the mastoid is so that I pick up a little bit of this hair that I cut in the back. So now I have a guide to cut two. So I'll cut the front short, and it'll be easy for me to know where I'm cutting two from. That makes sense? Yeah, two from. Gonna hit this a little bit of blade glide to make sure I keep everything in even saturation. I'm gonna start right in the center, right between the eyes, straight down. Now when I comb this, you'll notice that the comb is away from me as I get up to the root. I flip the comb. That's the only tension that I'm gonna use. I'll lay my hand right where I wanna cut the section. I'm gonna leave these a little longer. I don't create any tension at all. And then I'll go through with my razor and cut that straight across. Now here, when I comb down the sides, this is my short piece, this is my long piece. So I need to determine what that angle is gonna look like. And most of the time, most people will take this section and pull it forward and then go through and cut their angle. 
by me pulling this forward, what I'm doing is I'm introducing movement into the hair. It's going to start to shift back. So instead of it being straight down in page boy, I'm going to end up with kind of a Dorothy Hamill feather kind of look because I'm pulling it forward. So when I pull it forward, it's going to be shorter in the front, longer in the back. So it's going to shift back. So what I'm going to do to counter that is I'm going to comb everything straight down. It's going to be a little challenging. I'm going to go through, comb everything straight down. I'm going to angle my fingers, the angle that I think I need to go to get here, comb that straight down. There is my short piece. My long piece is there. Now combing this straight down, I'm going to cut my shape through it. Now we're starting to get that kind of curve that's very reminiscent of a page board. Continuing this as I go to the sides, there's my line. There's my angle I'm cutting to. Cut that down and through. Next piece, fight the urge to pull forward. I want to comb straight down, angle my fingers, and then cut that line. Take my next section, same angle that I took before, take a little bit more hair, pin this out of the way, and continue combing everything straight down in natural fall. Angle my fingers, the line that I want to cut. There's my line. The razor will match that line as I'm combing everything straight down. There's the line, the razor matches the line. Cut that off and through. If I have anything that doesn't quite match, clean that up a little bit. Take your time. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. And now we're beginning to get a nice little shape through there. So continue on till I run out of hair. So now let's go through and I think putting some internal texture so that we can get a little bit more softness and flickiness going on instead of it just being a mushroom. I'm gonna go through and take an angle similar to what we were working with before. And now I'm gonna go through and use my feather plie razor. That way I can make internal texture and make that separation with much more dexterity and control than I can with my regular feather styling razor. If you're looking to get into using a no guard razor. This is a good way to start because this is the easiest way to use it with the least amount of fear of cutting yourself. Follow us on your favorite social media platform at Jatai Feather. We got that. Same thing here in the back. I will probably do less in the back than I will on the sides and on the top because I still want to maintain that heavy moppy shape. Now I'm going to go through and do a little bit more weight removal as methodically as I can be for the rest of the hair. Now if you're working on somebody that maybe doesn't have as thick a hair as my doll head does, maybe you don't do as much texturizing internally and you keep it just on the very edges and on the very ends and that will get you that separation to it without thinning it and make it feel any finer or thinner. So we've saved the very best for last, which is the bang section. And the reason I saved that for last is so I'm already warmed up with my razor action. I have a good feel for how the hair is reacting to it. So when I'm dealing with something as vital as around the front, I can be more judicious about application of how much that I'm going to take out, how much hair I'm going to remove. So I'm going to start. I may start with half of this section, pin that out of the way come in and just very gently go through and remove a little bit right in the front. I would rather move to I would rather 
remove too little than to remove too much. And I think that's looking good. And then the very last section is this hair that may hang over it. I'll take a little deeper, but a little bit further apart with my internal razor stroke so I can get some separation and weight removal without taking too much out. And I think that that's a good place to stop with the wet cut. So let's blow it dry, take a look and fine tune it when it's dry. Here's our end result, and uh, I think it's a nice soft version of a classic page boy. I think it looks a little bit more modern. It's uh, not quite a Ramon, but it, it certainly has some texture and some movement to it, some softness. And I think that this shape would work really well on some curly hair that had a little bit more puff to it. I think that would be really, really pretty. Check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there that'll make you a better hairdresser or barber. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate it.